How do you know if a breakup is final? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. But first, my name is Clay with ModernLove.Life, where we help you get the great loving relationship that you're looking for without having to play mind games, without having to be hard to get, and without having to pretend to be someone or something that you are not. Because you deserve to be loved for the unique, amazing, and wonderful person that you are. And if you agree with me, please help me out and hit that thumbs up button. If enough of you guys do this, we can trigger the YouTube algorithm to start showing more of these videos and help boost this channel a little bit. Um, so it does help me out. It also helps other people find these videos. So if someone's going through a tough time and maybe you think my videos are helpful for you, it might be helpful for them too. So you're kind of paying it forward. Also, feel, please feel free to subscribe to the channel too if you want to get notified when we publish and upload new videos. If you're not already as well, you might want to think about signing up for our email newsletter. It's totally free to sign up for. You can find the link for it down in the description box below. We send you advice, tips, and strategies to help you to connect better with your ex and to have a great relationship. Again, it's totally free. You can sign up down below. If you don't want to, that's totally cool too. But anyway, what we're talking about here is how to know if your breakup is final. Now, a couple caveats before we get into this. First of all, I've been doing this for a very long time. Um, as of today, recording this, I've been doing this for about 11 years. And um, I've seen a lot of people in a lot of really intense situations. And I know better than to write someone off. You know, there have been times, especially early on, when I've heard someone's situation, I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know if that's going to work. Um, and then you get an update from them down the road, and they're like, oh, hey, it worked out. We got back together. And you're like, wow. Okay, so there's a part of me that knows better than to write someone off. Um, second of all is I don't like the finality of saying like, okay, your relationship is done forever. Um, sure. What may end up happening is that maybe you and your ex aren't going to get back together right now, but that doesn't mean that, you know, further down the road, the two of you won't be able to work things out, right? Um, you won't be able to, you know, maybe they're not willing to talk to you right now, but is that always going to be the case? Maybe in a couple of months or a year or two, they might have a change of heart. That happened to me with my big ex in the past, you know. I reached out to her, I think it was like a year and a half or two years after we actually broke up and I was like, da 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 da, and she was like responding to me. So don't think about this as like a black and white sort of thing, like either we're gonna get back together or there's no chance whatsoever. Things can unfold in weird ways. Um, and then finally, don't look at one single thing in this list in isolation. Again, I've seen people bounce back from crazy situations before. So what I want you to do is I want you to say, okay, if there's one thing in here, not so great. If there's two things in this list that apply to you, that's really not so great. If there's three or more things, that's really, really not so great, okay? So the more of the things that you see in this list that we're gonna go over, the less likely the two of you are gonna be able to get back together right now. Okay, so with all that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. First and foremost is if your ex isn't talking to you, right? If they're not talking to you and the two of you just uh, are not able to connect, they're upset at you, they're walling you out, they're just non-responsive, and you know you're doing your best to connect with them in a reasonable sort of way. It's one thing if you're in damage control mode and you're texting them like way too often and you're panicked and you're anxious and you're looking for some sort of validation from them. That's one thing. But if you're reaching out to them in casual, open, kind of, you know, just conversational sorts of ways and they're not talking to you and you've tried a couple of different takes and strategies and all that, then um, that that's definitely a sign that this might not be happening right now. Again, if you do want to learn more about how to text your ex, would you have an entire video series on texting your ex up there? Feel free to check that out if you want to learn more. Um, but the next thing that might indicate that this is not going to happen right now is if it's also been three to six months and there's no progress between you and your ex, okay? What I look for when I look at a situation is progress, is the progress being made, not are they back together instantaneously or something unrealistic like that. You know, it's, it's unrealistic to say, okay, let's send out a text message and the two of you are going to be back together by the weekend, right? That, that's, that's unrealistic. Um, what I look for is progress. Like, okay, maybe you weren't talking before, now you're talking a little bit. Maybe you're talking a little bit, now you're talking a lot. Maybe you're talking a lot, now you're meeting up. Maybe you're meeting up, and now you're meeting up a lot. Now, now you were meeting up a lot, now you're back together, right? I look for progress. And if there's been a good chunk of time, like three to six months, and there's no 
progress being made, then something's not working out, right? So either that's part of your strategy that that's not working out, or um, maybe your ex is just in a place where they're just not willing to go past a certain threshold with you. But if it's been three to six months and there's been no progress, not, not that you're not back together, but that there's been no progress, then that's another boink red flag that sticks up for me. Additionally, you know, if that's layered on top of them not talking to you, that's another big indicator that this might not be happening, at least not right now. The third thing is that there's no valid reason for the two of you to actually stay in contact with one another. You know, maybe the two of you are long distance or something like that, living in different cities or states or countries or continents or whatever, right? Um, if, the, if you're long distance or if there's no real reason for the two of you to stay in contact with one another because maybe you don't have mutual friends or whatever the case may be, um, then that is also going to add another layer of difficulty on top of this. So uh, obviously if the two of you do have a reason to stay in contact, that's more of an opportunity for the two of you to create an emotional connection and to bond. If there's no reason to stay in contact, that's less of an opportunity to create an emotional connection and bond, okay? Uh, of course, this layered on top of some of the other things we talked about are going to make things more difficult. Next up, we have if you haven't learned anything from the breakup, you haven't adjusted course in terms of how you intended the relationship to be. Now, I've said before many times, your ex isn't going to want to walk back into the same relationship that they walked out of in the first place. And this is definitely very true. Yes, it theoretically is possible to get back together with your ex by changing nothing and just isolating them and saying like, okay, uh, no one else wants to be in a relationship with you, therefore you gotta come back to all reliable here. But th that's not inspiring. Nobody wants to do that. And anyone who has another option is probably gonna choose it. So what you wanna do is you want to look at why the relationship you had didn't work out and look at like, okay, what wasn't working? Again, we've talked about this in previous videos, but it's usually cooperation. Are the two of you on the same team or not on the same team? It's communication. Are the two of you able to communicate clearly? And it's, uh, you know, consistency or trust, the three Cs. You know, cooperation, communication, and consistency. Or if you wanna think about this a different way, it's being on the same team, communicating, and trust, right? Which one of those is out of alignment? What can you do to bring it into alignment? Another great resource for this would of course be the advanced relational skills that we talk about, video playlist right up there. But um, you want to demonstrate to them that this is not the same thing that they walked out of. You wanna to demonstrate to them that there's a good reason for them to come back into a relationship with you. It's not about just talking. It's not just about talking good talk. We want to actually demonstrate to them that something is fundamentally different that's going to give them a good reason to come back into the relationship, okay? And if that's not present, then that's another little red flag that this may not be working out here. Um, again, layered on top of some of these other things, that starts to look worse and worse, like, okay, maybe you're long distance and there's been no uh, change since the breakup and maybe the two of you aren't talking. Okay, that's looking not so good here. Um, let's move on, okay. So the, the last thing we're gonna be talking about here is that you're not living into your best life. And I know this sounds kind of, you know, life coachy or whatever, but it, 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 it's true, right? We wanna live into our values and we want to live our best lives. Because the one thing that people have in common that we want to spend time with, we wanna to get to know, we want to get close to, we want to be on the journey of life with them, is that they're going somewhere. They're doing something, whether that's you know starting a business, whether that's moving up in their career, whether that's uh, you know traveling the world, whether that's doing something they've always wanted to do. Whatever it is, it has to bring excitement to you. It has to bring you to life. It has to add um, zest to your life, and that's going to make you light up a lot more. It's going to come across in your energy. It's going to come across in how you present yourself. It's going to also show them that like, hey, you're going somewhere. You're doing something. And a lot of times people want to be a part of that. So, you know, if you're just kind of, you know, sitting around playing video games or something like that, then maybe you got a little bit of work to do, especially if there's some other things layered on top of that. So um, definitely go out there and live your best life. Do things that are important to you. Live into your values and pursue that to the fullest because it's going to obviously help you in your own personal life, but it's also going to send a message to your ex or any other potential partner that, hey, you got something going on. And if they want to be a part of it, they better move quick. Um, so again, this is not like if you just see one of these things, it's like a death nail. But 
if there are kind of like clusters of these things, this is something that you might be concerned about, okay? And some of these things are definitely within your control, you know, like learning from the past and uh, uh, living your best life, living into your values and all of that. So definitely take control of what you can take control of and just, you know, take note of what you can't control, okay? And if you do want to, again, learn more about our email newsletter or sign up, that's right down below. But once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. It helps me out. I mean, come on, you stayed and watched this whole thing. We're like 10 minutes in. You're still watching. You must like something. Hit the thumbs up button, please. Um, and also subscribe to the channel. If you do want to learn more about texting your ex, we have a video playlist on texting your ex right here. Or you might want to check out this video over here. But thank you so much for watching. Please take care. Once again, my name is Clay, and I'll talk to you next time.